Prior to use, it is important to note the indwelling slit catheter procedure must not exceed a 24-hour period. Ensure that you are using a full syringe prior to each procedure. Prepare the quick stick and pressure monitor set according to the instructions for use or the steps listed on the back of the device. Turn the unit on. Stick is ready for use in 5 seconds. Using sterile technique, remove the contents of the disposable pouch, remove the cap on the pre-filled syringe, and screw the syringe onto the chamber stem. Be sure not to contaminate the fluid pathway. Open the cover and inspect the transducer port for damage or contamination. Next, place the chamber into the well with the black surface down. Close the cover, but don't force it. Attach the slit catheter to the tapered chamber stem and ensure a snug fit. Optional extension tubing may be used between the slit catheter and the monitor if desired. Now, remove the needle guard from the breakaway needle and push the catheter into the needle until it is flush with the bevel of the needle. Note, the catheter should not protrude from the needle. Hold the needle approximately 45 degrees up from horizontal and slowly force fluid through the disposable to remove air. Next, bring the catheter tip, the slit end, to the same height as the disposable diaphragm. The display should read between negative 8 to positive 9 millimeters mercury. To ensure accuracy, the device must be at the same height as the catheter tip before pressing the zero button. When the display is in the correct range, press the zero button and wait two seconds until the display reads zero zero. The display must read zero zero. If the display reads bat, you must replace the battery and repeat steps 6 and 7 to obtain an accurate pressure reading. Next, hold the catheter and needle together. Ensure the tip of the catheter is protected inside the needle and simultaneously guide them into the desired compartment. Push the catheter forward while pulling back on the needle. Once proper insertion is achieved, tape the catheter in place after the needle is out of the skin. Now. Remove the breakaway needle by pinching the green fins on the needle together. Then, pull them apart and split the needle away. Keep the chamber in the monitor at the same height as the estimated height of the slit tip of the catheter in the body. The monitor must be securely taped to the patient to prevent displacement or patient injury. Now, slowly inject less than 3 tenths cc saline into the compartment to equilibrate with interstitial fluids. Wait for the display to reach equilibrium. Then, read and record pressure readings at appropriate intervals. Repeat steps 12 and 13 to ensure patency for subsequent measurements. 